Hello everybody, I hope you're well. Welcome to another video. You need to use your imagination on this one because it's absolutely freezing and we're going to do a review of this. This is the Flex Tail Ice Maker, the Evo Ice portable ice maker with its own built-in battery. So just picture the beautiful sunshine in the background, hot summer's day, and you're out in your camper van or you're camping or just out in the garden having a barbecue with your mates and you want some ice for your drinks. This could be the answer. You could even take it down to the beach. And there's enough capacity in the battery to make plenty of ice cubes anywhere you want to be. This is a total self-contained unit, which has its own lithium battery inside. So you charge it up before you take it anywhere. Or you can charge it up in your camper van. You can charge it from a USB-C or a mains power lead. And you literally just put water in the top here. Switch it on and choose if you want eco mode, if you want a quick ice, or if you want cups of ice. And in this little tray here, you get your ice cubes. And this is the water level to show you how much water you can put in. Nice, compact, and so far easy to use. It's not too noisy. I don't know if you can hear it out here. We'll have another look inside in a bit. But you can hear the fan running. And the fan runs in the back there where the main connections are for charging. There's also a button on the back to drain the water out as well once you've used it. Just come with a little scoop to get your ice cubes out. I think we're nearly there. Should have some ice cubes appearing soon. I put it on eco mode and there they are dropping out. <laughs> it's like a one-armed bandit. I've only got that little glass. I think that's enough, don't you? They're a decent size though, aren't they? So you just open the little tray Even these eco ones are a decent size. What else would you do on a tropical day like today out in the sunshine in this great Yorkshire weather? Cold. And the drink is. I'm bribing them with treats. <laughs> you dropped yours, Lou. There you go. So this is the box it comes in. And it's the Evo Ice Maker, Outdoor Ice Maker. Uh, it's got a USB-C connector on the back. Um, it can make 500 ice cubes on one charge. It's portable. It's got a nice fold-down handle. We'll have a look at it in a minute. It's food-grade materials, and it's one-touch charging as well. So really easy to use. This is the handle, which is actually aluminium. I presume this, as I said, this is a prototype, but I presume it will still the same on the actual ones that come onto the market, which is really strong. It's a little flap there. You lift that. And in there you just pour the water until it comes up to the maximum level here. Now we've made ice cubes just now outside on eco mode and that's definitely enough for two drinks. A little tray with the ice cubes in there and the water falls through to the bottom so you recycle the water back in so if you don't use all the water or some of it melts it goes back to make more ice cubes. The back you have a charger here which is a it has a brick to a charger, a USB-C charger. So this, these are both inputs to charge it, so you can charge it on the move. And then this here, if you press this button in, it releases the water. How clever is that? So there's no pipes or anything to pull out. You just literally switch the unit on and press the button. It drains the water out for when you're transporting it. And obviously you can clean it this way. So you could put some warm water in and actually run it through and keep it clean if you haven't used it for a season and you're waiting for the good weather <laughs> as we all are. This is the charging brick, the sockets on the back here, it's a three pin, we tend to call them like a kettle plug, but it's a 90 degree plug on this, so it doesn't take up a lot of space if you want to store it against something. And the button there for actually flushing it out is, is flat, so you're not, and it's below the surface of this, so if you, uh, if you knock this, it's not going to block it. But you obviously need to keep a space for this because as the compressor works it needs to get rid of the heat here there are vents on the bottom and there's a vent on either side as well the functions on and off button and when you switch on these show you how much power you've got in it'll give you your temperature readings how long it's going to take and you've got eco quick make um, cleaning and the um, drainage symbols on there that i just showed you at the back and it also tells you if you haven't put enough water in as well. So all you have to do is switch it on, 
and choose which function you want and then it'll just run for that period of time you can add two or three um, cups so if you want two cups you can add that to it and it'll actually run through its timer run the compressor make the ice cubes and then as you see before they just drop out and you can hear it a bit more in here the pumps actually running to move the water into the freezer part but i think it's a good bit of kit in it imagine being on the beach or if you're having a barbecue outside your camper van or you want to keep the dogs cool in the summer if you're going abroad or you get the hot, hot summer day in yorkshire you can make some ice cubes and give them to ch the dogs to chew that's the sound of it I wouldn't say it was loud, you can hear it, but I wouldn't say it's over loud. It's about the same sound level as you'd get from a, um, a power unit, a power pack. I've drained water, the symbol's coming up there to say add water. So it's quite intelligent as a unit. I've just run it a few more times and there the ice level has come up. So it does work, it can indicate there's too many ice cubes in there and it'll stop it running. So it's got some clever electronics in there. I don't know if you can see in there, it's in cleaning mode at the moment, but within this little window at the top, you can see where the ice cubes are actually made. And then there's like a holder that turns around to drop them off. So it's just cleaned itself as well and drained it. That's the cover going back over. After cleaning itself, it drains the rest of the water off. I've just plugged it into this power bank. And it's drawing about 35, 36 watts using the AC adapter, the brick. And I've done about eight or nine lots of ice now and it's only used part of one bar. So it doesn't use a lot of power to charge it up. It's also quiet when it's charging as well. I'm just reading some of the stats related to this and they've produced an uh, AvoTech micro motor technology which makes the compressor lighter than other models on the market and the first set of ice cubes you make are made in nine minutes and that's a 12 ice cubes in nine minutes and then from there each batch takes five minutes so the quicker once you've made the first batch so the um the 200 watt hour battery and the lightweight motor in the compressor makes this lighter than most other models on the market which is quite unique apparently now I'm filming this before it's actually launched. This is a prototype they've sent me, but it's the final design as I understand from what they've told me. All the information about it be in the description below. And uh, all that leaves me to say is uh, thanks for watching and see you on the next one. And hopefully on the next one, the weather might be a bit better. Cheers. Oh, I think it's time to use that other great invention and make a cup of tea. <laughs>